What is up, YouTube? Spectacular Spider Grandpa coming at you with a tag video. Goddamn, Grandpa's hearing noises. Um, I just got off work. I came home, got something to eat, and want to knock out a, a few videos. As you can see, a little different background here. Um, I was, still had everything out from uh, last night's show. Blasted or stash it. And, uh, that was extremely awesome. Had a great time again. Um, so I just threw everything together. I'm going to film like this. And this is my entertainment center in the back, my TV, Tom and Jerry. So um, I was tagged in a video by British Geeky Guy, my brother from across the pond. Um, major, major Funko Pop Hunter. If you're not familiar with him, go subscribe to British Geeky Guy. Um, he tagged me in a video, tagged a few others too. It is the top 10 most wanted Funko Pops, like your Grails. And this top 10 list was really, really hard to do. Um, it seems simple, but I there's, there's a lot of Pops I want. And this, this took me a while to uh, compile a list of 10. Um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna go through them. Uh, they ain't in any particular order except for probably number one, which is the my current Grail at this moment. Um, I knocked out my Grail from last year, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, for let's let's just jump right into this. Um, number ten. Um, I I think this is on BGG's list too. And I passed on it numerous of times. I've seen it. Um, it is now retired, and that is the Slave Leah. Um, all the Princess Leia pops are flying off the shelf since Carrie Fisher's passing. Rest in peace. Um, and I would love to get my hands on the Slave Leah, especially with the whole, you know, Disney getting all butthurt about, you know, Women shouldn't be treated like that, and blah blah blah. They were pulling the slave Leia stuff off the shelves. You know what? Go fuck yourself. Get over it. That movie was made in oh eighty five. Um, just get over it. So number ten, slave Leia Funko Pop. Number nine. This should actually be higher on the list because uh, if you don't know by now, I'm trying to keep com complete. I'm trying to grab every Walking Dead Funko Pop. I have a lot of them. Let me see if I can move the camera. Starting from right there. All the way down. Um, the, a lot of them are really expensive. Um, I'll probably never get the number nine here. But don't ever say that because... I never thought I would get my 2007 16 Funko Pop Grail, and that was the Headless Herschel. Um, my wife got this for me for Christmas, and uh, it is awesome. But number nine is the 7 Eleven. Yes, 7 Eleven has Funko Pop sometimes. I know they had the Duck Dynasty ones for a while, and they did have a Walking Dead Bloody Carl. And I want that. I want that for my Walking Dead collection. Uh, number eight is a tie. They're both Walking Dead pops, and that is the original Maggie. I don't know if they made another another Maggie, but I want the original Maggie and the original Glenn. Um, so to add to my Walking Dead collection, number seven would be any of the Thundercat pops. I would love to have those. I do have one, and that is Chitara, and here's the line. I would love to have Lino, Pan Panthro, Mumra, or Snarf. Um, I want to get this full set eventually. So, number seven would be my Thundercat Pops. Number six... Here comes my puppy. Um, I'm sitting in a high, uh, a real chair now, so he can't get to me. Um, 
as you can tell right there, I am a Sons of Anarchy fan. Love that show. I have all the Funko Pops for this line. Except for Jack's Teller, which is really expensive. Good luck finding them. I have Opie, I have Gemma, and I have Clay. But I need my Jacks. I need my Jacks Teller. Um, and for those of you who don't know, uh, Huey's Comic Hideout made me uh, um, a Funko Pop avatar for my YouTube channel. And this is what it's based off of right here. Opie Winston. Um, so number six would be Jax Teller from Sons of Anarchy. Number five would be another Walking Dead pop or pops. This is a set. Um, they come separate. And that is Michonne's Pets, the two zombies with no arms. They do make Funko Pops for them. I recently saw one at my LCS that he wanted 25 for it. But um, the top of the box was ripped really bad. I don't mind a little bit of damage on the box, but when it's totally ripped up, uh, I pass. I'll get them eventually. They aren't that expensive. I think I'm pop price guide right now. They're going for about 20 bucks each, so I'll get those eventually. Um, number four would be Ozzy Osbourne. I think BGG had this on his list. I definitely want Ozzy Osbourne as I am a heavy metal hard rock um, fan. I've seen Ozzy five times in my concert career, three times with Black Sabbath. So me and my wife are both Ozzy Osbourne fans. Would love to get my hands on this pop. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Number three would be Airborne Sapper. I'm going to kill you. And steal your Masters of the Universe pops. No, I'm just kidding, but great haul the other day, by the way. Um, I love Airborne Sapper, man. He's got a great channel. If if you guys ain't subbed to Airborne, please, please go sub this man up. Um, number three would be He Man from the Masters of the Universe line. I actually want all the the whole line, but I'll take I'll take them all. Number two would be any, I want them all, but any of the Jean Grey Funko Pops. There's probably like four of them ranging from like $100 to $150. Um, look them up on Pop Price Guide. They do exist. All you X-Men fans, I don't see any Jean Greys in your collection. You know what? Airborne Sapper probably has a Jean Grey. So, number two would be a Jean Grey from the Marvel line. And number one, my 2017 Funko Holy Grail would be another Walking Dead pop. And that's the Merrill, Merrill Dixon Zombie. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not sure how much it's going for now on Pop Price Guide, but I do have... Daryl, Daryl, Daryl. The normal Merrill Dixon up there, but I need the zombie Merrill Dixon. Whew. And that was tougher. Oh, 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 oh. Honorable mention. I do want the DC Comics Dark Side pop. I gotta have that one too. I love Dark Side. So, I had 11. I cheated. So, BGG, thank you for tagging me in this video. It was a lot harder than it, than it looked. Um, I'm going to go. I'm supposed to tag some people now. I would tag, tag my Blast It brothers, but not, 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 they, they're not really uh, big pop guys. So I'm going to go ahead, and I don't know if any of you channels have done this already. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tag... Um, Another man who's got an extensive Funko Pop collection, and that's Tats Comics. If you're not subbed to Tats Comics, go check him out. He's a great musician. He's a great artist. 
he collects comics, Funko Pops, action figures. Um, I'm sure he collects other things we're not even aware about, but I love Tats Comics, another one of those channels who drops a video, and I'm right on it. I'm going to also tag, let's see. Um, I'm going to tag Metal Nerd. Metal Nerd's probably done this already, but I'm going to tag him anyway. If you're not subbed to Metal Nerd, go check him out. He does videos with his little daughter. They do taste tests. They do unboxings, Funko reviews. Um, and another amazing channel. Um, so go check out Metal Nerd and BGG. This is an unofficial tag. Just because I haven't seen her in videos, uh, in any of your videos that much lately. I used to love when you guys did the, um, what was it? The Funko Battles, where I know you're having issues with Pop in the Box, and you know that's how you guys did your little Funko Battles, but. God damn it, dog. Fucking puppies. I am going to tag. Really? I am going to tag Mrs. BGG in the. I know she gets. God, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Peter's probably watching this, and they're gonna send like the Peter armed forces at my door. You're gonna kill your fucking dog. Whatever. But I'm tagging Mrs. BGG in this. I know she has some grill pop she wants. So. And if that don't work out, you know what? One of my new favorite channels is, of course, Cat Ren Figures. She mostly does comic reviews, but in the background, I do see some Funko Pops, and I'd, I'd be really interested in seeing what Cat Ren has for her top 10 Funko Grails. So, yeah, guys, that's it. I have a haul video to do tomorrow. I am going to do my grandpa's top 10 books of the week. I still have a few books to read. I have Flash number 15. I have Inhumans vs. X-Men number 3 to read. Uh, Action Comics 972. Thanos number 3. And I still, I'm going to read, I'm probably going to read this before I go to bed. Savage number 3. So stay tuned for grandpa's top 10 books. Um, thank you again for British Geeky Guy for not only tagging me in this video, for being on the live Blast of the Stash It show last night. We had another awesome, great, great, great time. Um, and if you guys haven't watched the Blast It show on the Rewind, stay tuned to the very end. We got a special surprise for you. So those of you, you know, who only watch half of it and watch to the end, you, you never know what the Blast It crew will throw out there. So... Be kind to one another, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.